Hello YouTube, welcome to a bonus episode of God of War Ragnarok Reactions. While I was looking for trailers to watch and behind the scenes snippets to react to, I came across a video that PlayStation put on their YouTube channel back in August called The Myths of Midgard that recaps the journey of Kratos and Atreus through 2018's God of War. Even though I only just finished the main story a few weeks ago, I'm sure there are things that I have forgotten or missed. So I'm going to watch this with you to get a refresher, and then I'll probably re-watch it before I actually play Ragnarok. And if you want to know when I play Ragnarok, you can follow me on Twitch at twitch.tv slash ohthatnatalie, where I hope to play Ragnarok sometime in December. Or if you want to be notified when those playthroughs then go up here on YouTube, you can hit the subscribe button and the bell and you'll be notified. But for now, let's watch Myths of Midgard. <laughs> It's quite the storm we're having. Seems Fimblewinter's here to stay. Hi, Felicia. I pass, though. All things, too. In the meantime, how about a story while we warm by the fire? Oh, those filthy spies. That old man sees more now than he did when he had both eyes. He does ah, have both eyes. One of my favorites. It's a story of adventure. A father and son working together to overcome insurmountable odds, setting in motion the greatest war the Nine Realms have ever seen. I'm getting a bit ahead of myself. Let's start from the beginning. There once was a god from a far off land who settled in Midgard, disguised as a man. He started a new life, had a wife and a boy. They were happy together. In peace, they found joy. His wife passed away. Kratos mourned with his son. But where one journey ended, a new had begun. Faye's final request, though it seemed rather bleak, spread my ashes atop the Nine Realms' tallest peak. As they readied themselves for the long road ahead, a stranger accosted them in their homestead. Baldur sought answers as Odin's hand. Kratos gave none to the Aesir firebrand. They made way for the mountains. Kratos taught the boy skills, keeping godhood a secret but training to kill. Gods were always in danger, this Kratos knew, but secrets, he'd learn, could harm the boy too. Yep. They found Mimir in a tree. Understatement. for his wrongs, so they lopped off his head and they brought him along. Mimir held ancient wisdom and knew the lost god of war. He warned, tell the boy, but Kratos ignored. No, no, now hold on a minute. <laughs> Is that all that's in there about me? Something to add? Actually, yes, I do. You see, Odin, in all of his dreadfully paranoid wisdom, trapped me in that bloody tree for perceived wrongs. And I led quite the colorful life before even meeting him. It all started when I was just a lad in the service of a great fairy king. Riveting stuff, really. We'll have to get back to that later. No! Don't turn the page! I wasn't finished! If Mimir were telling the story, we'd be here all day. Anyways... It's true. They met Freya, masquerading as a witch in the woods. A god knows a god. She would aid where she could. She cautioned, you must tell your son he's divine. But... Kratos dismissed her. He'd regret this in time. Yep. On the road, Baldur's allies, Thor's sons, attacked. Something snapped in Atreus as he tried to fight back. The Aesir <sighs> lost the battle, but Atreus fell too. Kratos rushed him to Freya. She would know what to do. Freya was disheartened with the father's neglect, but with the heart of Hell's troll, she could save his son yet. Kratos thundered through Helheim and slew the great troll. He had captured its heart, but in his... No, they covered the nipples. He returned with his offering. Freya cast a keen spell, and Atreus was healed, though not all was well. Kratos sat with his son, and for once he was true, revealing he was a god, and Atreus was too. Delighted at first, it seemed all would go smoothly. Then arrogance followed and bent Atreus toward cruelty. 
With tensions flared, Balder preyed on their discord, casting back into Helheim Kratos and his ward. In Helheim, they learned Freya caused Balder's plight. His mother's ill-conceived curse robbed his life of all light. They emerged from the realm as they neared Journey's End, but Balder appeared and attacked once again. Atreus and Kratos were ready this time, stronger together with their power combined. Freya intervened on behalf of her son, begging Balder's forgiveness for all that she'd done. Balder strangled his mother. Kratos lunged with a snap. <sighs> Balder slumped. Freya wailed. And he died in her lap. Technically, he died on the floor. The Snow started to fall. The dawn of Fimble Winter. The dusk of it all. Atreus asked, Is this what it means to be gods? Killing our parents forever at odds? No! Kratos bellowed as he dropped to one knee. We will be the gods that we choose to be. Finally, together, they reached the Great Peak, finding Jotunheim's temple, the giant's retreat. A prophetic mural showed the life they had led. The boy's mother was giant, they learned as they read. Atreus walked to the cliffside. Kratos eyed the wall slowly. Beneath the boy's picture, a name was etched. Loki. They scattered her ashes and watched as they lifted over rolling red hills. The wind danced and it drifted. Standing side by side, feeling hopeful and new, the boy was at peace. And the father was too. Until. With their promise fulfilled, they returned to their home. They trained day after day, lest they'd reap what they'd sown. Atreus grew restless, wary Kratos remained. Ragnarok loomed as the great winter waned. Uh-oh. Don't tell me you're thinking of stopping here. Things were just getting good. Well, I suppose we could go on a bit longer. An excellent idea. This is the most dramatic part. Uh-oh. Second thought. Perhaps we'd better cut it short. It seems that we're out of time. If you want to know how this story ends, I'm afraid you'll have to find out for yourself. Again, Until if I... Then. Again, if I didn't know any better, that ending would make me believe that this was a horror game. But we know that it's not. Okay, that was a short and sweet bonus reaction video to Myths of Midgard. A cute little recap poem featuring Felicia Day and everyone's favorite head on a rope, Mimir. That's all the reacting I'm going to do today. The next time you see me with God of War Ragnarok content is when I will be playing it. And again, I hope to get to it sometime in December because I still have to finish Tiny Tina's Wonderlands and Bioshock Infinite. But for now, enjoy the rest of the God of War content I'm going to put up on this channel where I play through the original trilogy. And I will see you soon. Thank you for watching. Goodbye.